Did you, sir? How is Mrs. Strickland? She's up, but still dead. Of course. I'd like to see her and look. Also to collect some important business papers that must be dealt with, you understand? Naturally. Come on in. Ballistics report. What does it say? The gun was a 38. Does it leave a signature on the bullet? Yes. Here's the lamp print. Fleet Street has played it up. Well, Strickland was famous and popular. Press and the public. Another rags to riches story. Are you feeling all right, sir? Of course I'm not feeling all right. Firstly, we haven't arrested anyone. Secondly, I've been up all night. So let's get out of business. Well, we've pulled in the usual mob of known offenders for questioning. All right, who's first? That man about town, Mark Shilton. All right, show him in. Good morning, Inspector. Sit down. See you're wearing boots, Mr. Shilton. I'm very observant, Inspector. Do you mind telling me what size? If you're really interested, uh, an eye and a half. All right, Shilton, that'll do. Bring the next one in, Rutledge. May I go home now? Yes, go home and try and keep out of trouble. I don't need that kind of advice from you. What do you take me for? A thief. Why don't you stop being chicken? Well, that's my alibi. You check it. Check it, Inspector. Well, that's what we're doing. He's in the clear, sir. All three witnesses corroborate his story. All right, Avery, you can go. Oh. Thanks, Inspector. It's been very nice being at the yard and meeting you again. But you'll understand me when I say I uh, hope not to repeat the visit. I'm sure you do. Well, that's the lot of them. And everyone has a solid alibi. Looks like we are dealing with a newcomer who isn't on the records. Here are the papers. Clueless yard hunt killer. That's what I call an ambiguous, unfriendly headline. Yes, the story is spread into the stock exchange column. Seems there's a stare in the market about Strickland's death. What a takeover bid. Cool Cup shares went up recently, with a rumor that Strickland was selling out to the HCB group. Yeah, but this says the deal may be up. Well, that's right. Well, wouldn't a takeover bid be more likely now Strickland's dead? Well, Walter Ashton doesn't think so. He predicts Merrill will stay put now that he's chairman. Oh, does he? I wonder why. Could be holding out for a bigger offer. Oh, you seem to know your stocks and shares. I dabble in the market sometimes. Policemen aren't supposed to gamble. Well, it's only pin money, sir. In any case, it isn't gambling, it's an investment. But where does this column, this Ashton, hang out? Presumably in his office. I'll ring him up and tell him I'll be over. Give me Fleet Street 9000, Walter Ashton's office, please. One of the people we gave notice to. Report just come in, Sergeant. A gun to fit the description. The local division's waiting for instructions. I'll let Inspector Mann know. Tell the division we'll keep in touch. Very good. 